preparations were made for the marriage feast, everyone did their part. What's that gift, Coles? Well, it's a nice warm blanket for Lewis to wear for the wedding. Well, Coles, that is very thoughtful of you. Oh, yeah. It's thoughtful, all right. <clears throat> Let's get back to work, gentlemen. The day went quickly. Soon the wedding was upon them. And it was as Raven had said, bright and warm. Look at that. All the snow was melting. Very odd. It's not like winter at all. It's actually hot. Well, let's get this wedding going. Now, where is the bride and groom? We're right here. Go on, give it to him. Here, Mois, wear this. Thank you, Gus. Yeah, sure. It feels good, nice and warm. All right then, let's get started. So they began the wedding under the hot sun. Eagle spoke with pride the sacred words as the people looked on. Iggy smiled and stood straight. And Moose. What's wrong with Moose? It looks like he's shrinking. Psst. Moose, stand up straight. I am, Iggy. Moose, are you all right? I feel better than ever. So warm. What's happening? What's... Moose? Goodbye, Iggy's. Remember what I have said to you. Sometimes different is better. He's melting away. Melting? Wait a second. Raven? Don't look at me. Goodbye, Creator Raven. I have done as you asked. I knew it. One of Raven's tricks. What kind of trick was this, Raven? A mean one, I'd say. This time, you've gone too far, Raven. This is the worst kind of trick. No, you're wrong. It's the best kind of trick. A trick that makes someone see the world in a whole new way. Look, Iggy's. What? Where? Look into the pool. And what do you see there, Iggy's? It's... me. Yes, you see yourself. That's all Mois was. He was you, your love for yourself. Yes. Yes, he even tried to tell me. You've loved yourself so much you didn't even notice someone real, someone who's always been there for you, someone who loves you. What? Who? Me. I'm sorry, Aegis. I didn't know what would happen this way. I thought... I'll understand if you hate me now. You... love me? But I thought you didn't even notice me. What? You never spoke to me before as if you loved me. But you never listened to me when I did. You should have told me before. I would have married you over Muis, but you never said anything. You... you would marry me? Still? Of course. I would always have, but you never asked. You didn't have to lie to me, Aegis. She isn't, boy. Look. 
Remember, once she loves Muis no more and loves you, Kos, Muis's life will be at an end, and my breath will be mine again. There, it is done. Not quite, Raven. <sighs> hey, come on. After all, I'm here to marry somebody. Shall we? Ikis? Kos? Yes, let's. Your hands are cold. Cold hands. Warm heart. Oh, man, I need a vacation. This trickster stuff is tough.